Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro Yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro Yen, I mean, we did have that big push down, but it really it never broke structure. The wave three is still not proven to be over, and it still very easily could go up and make new highs. There is definitely no reason to think that this is making a bigger move to the downside as of yet. So going down to the weekly time frame, this is what I'm talking about right here. I mean, it did break, but it really was a rejection of structure, and it looks pretty impulsive up. Now, it is going to lead us to believe on sort of time frames that it's an A and a B, and that it's going to go down for a wave C, which it definitely could still do that. I mean, it very easily could do that. But it also very easily could keep going up, which is definitely what I'm leading towards. I'm leading towards the fact that the yen pairs are going to keep going up and potentially maybe even make a new high. So going down to the daily time frame, like I said, I mean, the market definitely at these lower time frames, like the daily and down, definitely lead you to believe that this is an A. This is A, B, C of B, and that it's going to bounce off a FIB level, go down, break structure, ending a wave B, and continue it back down for a wave C. Now, that is definitely possible, and if we see a break of structure to the downside after a Fibonacci bounce, then I will definitely believe it, and I definitely will become a seller again. But until I actually see that picture, I am definitely looking for longs because I think it may even be more likely that it just keeps on trending up, making higher highs and higher lows. So I am definitely looking for longs until I see evidence that this really is an A, B, C, or B. So going down to the four hour time frame, I mean, I think it's at least going to continue to drift up. And if it does bounce off that 61 and then go down a break structure, then I will definitely become a seller. But until that happens, I think that it could just make another bounce and could just keep on trending up. So I am definitely going to continue to look for longs, especially at the end of pullbacks. So going down to the one hour time frame, I mean, it looks like it already made an ABC cuts and it looks like we already have a three way pattern to the downside. If that is the case, then you would think that this would just keep on going up at least back up to the 61.8 before we saw any resistance. Now, if it does bounce off of that level and go down and break this low down here, then that would tell me that the trend is over and that that would tell me that it is a way B. And at that point, I would definitely start looking for shorts again. But until that happens, I would actually still be looking for longs at the end of any pullbacks that I would see. I think it could bounce off to 61%, but there may just be another you know, pullback bounce, and it may just keep on trending up, continuing to make higher highs, higher lows, like I was explaining on the daily time frame and up. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.